We've got a monster hangover at the Dead Coconut Club. Pure insanity in this crowd right now. This is my favorite section. This is what I'm talking about. All right, guys, it is officially the holiday season here at Universal Studios. We're gonna focus on the Universal Studios side. We're gonna head off to the Tribute Store, show you all the fun little Easter eggs, show you all the new Christmas merchandise that they have. Then we're gonna show you some of the specialty food items that they have just for the holiday season here at Universal Studios. And then we have the Macy's Day Parade. Now, all these Christmas offerings are included with your park ticket. They're not behind a $200 paywall like how Disney does for their Christmas stuff. No. Christmas is one of my favorite times of the year. Visit Universal, I cannot wait to show it to you guys. And see all the squirrels. Universal's Holiday Parade featuring Macy's. Now, this event runs from November 12th until January 1st. All the elves are out right now doing little meet and greet. This is the tribute store for this year. It's the tribute department store. Uh, they kind of wanted it to blend in with the rest. The theming here at Universal Studios, kind of like a New York style Christmas store. They have some wreaths on the door. I have not spoiled myself. I don't know what's in here. Uh, I'm really excited. So first off, the uh, elevator. DTS. There's four floors in a basement. A little For $35, they have Betty Boop in a lingerie. Okay. For $10, light up pixel wands. $20, they have this kid's shirt. Happy Holidays Universal Studio. $25 for this adult shirt. They have a light up tree beanie. And for $30, they have this baseball cut tee. Happy Holidays Universal Studio. Then for $15, they have a Happy Holidays Universal Studios glass. Then for $57, they have this gray hoodie. It's pretty uh, lightweight. Happy Holidays. They have like crazy Santa hats and elf hats. I'm just going to kind of really show off like the Universal stuff, but they do have like socks, festive holiday socks. For $38, the gnomes have invaded Universal Studios now. I cannot escape these things. Uh, it's like a little Santa gnome. For $9, they have spatulas with different cookie cutters. So they have a snowman, a gingerbread man, a Santa, and then a Christmas tree. They have all different Santa ornaments. I'm not gonna go through every one, but here's a look at them. New York famous roasted chestnut with again a tribe of little gnome Santas here, but they do have uh, Coke beverages. If you need something to drink. Here they have some Universal Studios ornaments. These are gonna be $18. Then for $40, they have the Universal Studios Globe as an ornament. Going to the next room. All right, we've now entered into the Wizarding World now, the Hogsmeade. Allison said she wanted this for Christmas, so I'm gonna have to pick this up. So it's a Wizarding World bear. It's adorable. It says Harry Potter on the foot. So this bear's gonna be $40. I think this will sell out by the end of the year. Now, if you look in this tree, there's a bunch of ornaments, right? But if you look really closely, there's a little Earl the Squirrel hidden right there. He's hidden kind of at like the bottom of the tree to the right. If you look right there, there's a little squirrel in the tree. I haven't seen this. Is this little Hedwig? $82 carrying Harry's acceptance letter to Hogwarts. It's a lounge fly. Now, there's just so much Wizarding World stuff. I'm not seeing too much like new Wizarding World stuff. If there is, I'll point it out. This is absolutely amazing. It's a butterbeer mug with butterbeer, right? There's glitter on top. It's $30 and it lights up. I love this so much. That is so good. For $25, they have an ornament of the little front window from Honey Dukes. These always sell out during the holiday season. So if you don't have them, pick them up. These are replicas of Harry and Ron's sweater that they get for Christmas. They're going to be $90 each. They're really thick material. So they have Wizarding World robes. They're $139. They do have a little shopping baskets if you need them. Now this is the Tribute Store photo studio. Just kind of a simple hallway with the photos and then kind of posters. Look at the size comparison. He looks huge, but I had to sneak a little boo in there. Right, well, what do we have here? Scary good price. Lightning sale. Oh, this is supposed to be the old Universal Monsters Cafe. You can see the electric chair out there. Now it's all torn down. That's so sad. You remember the three banners with the monsters and the sign would be there? So it says lightning sale. Monster Eatery. Definitely haunted. World famous hub for hungry monsters and humans alike. Built to last forever. The lifetime supply of turkey legs. Impress your mummy with this new business venture. Only for the most fearsome. A fantastic deal. Watch out for spiders. Food to die for. Some assembly required. 
it's out of stock. This was such a highly detailed little uh, quick service option. Now we're gonna get maybe the Minions Cafe. All right, let's see what this one says. Eye catching and iconic. Deal so good, you'll want to phone home. A little nod to ET right there. As you know, this is the archway when you enter into Universal Studios. So what does it say? Way to the stars. Upgrade your entryway. Boring door, uninviting driveway. Spice it up with this rare archway, complete with bonus holiday accessories and light package. Zero delivery freeze because it is pickup only. Bring it home today. Make all your neighbors happy. Used but in great condition. Withstands the Florida sun. Classic feel. Gargoyles and added cost. Now the gargoyles, as you know, were on the side net. Then they were outside the Legacy store. And I don't think they're back at the Legacy store. But when Universal first opened, they were gargoyles. All right, this is the next little advertisement. This is for Islands of Adventure. This is the Islands of Adventure lighthouse. That so says, see more for miles. One of a kind. Antique lighthouse. Begin your journey with your very own antique lighthouse. Built so long ago, no one remembers a time without it. Add this to your butterfly garden for a fun touch of light or use as a scarecrow in your field. Multi-purpose, not available in any other colors, elevator optional. And then easy to use, can stand the test of time, last in stock. They only have one left. Then they have one more poster over here for Volcano Bay. It says, you will lava it. Don't take this deal for granted. It might just flow by. Get fired up for the one and only water spewing volcano. Safe and family friendly with perfectly chlorinated water ready to cool you off on a hot summer day. Must have a large enough yard to house this 200 foot mountain of fun. You will get wet, may raise your water bill. Talkative spirits included because then sand is not included. This is again the last one in stock. Right, the next stop is Whoville. Oh, here we go. All right, now there's a lot happening in Whoville. So you have Max right here with his antler. Welcome to Whoville. They have a wonderful Grinch little photo up here. He's holding how the Grinch stole Christmas. This is great. I'm digging this sculpt. Now for $15, they have these little Grinch plushes. And for $82, they have the Grinch lounge fly. Again, this sells out super quick. The uh, Santa hat is removable. For $17, they have plushes of Max and the Grinch. Now we'll have to come back. The bulb machines, I don't think are up and operating. Looks like it's gonna be a Grinch collectible figure. So I'll have to come back later and cover that. For $35, they have beanies. They're reversible. So you can either have a naughty beanie or a nice beanie. Old and Grinchy, Claws is back. Mary Mary, we're gonna go to the north of the border now for Earl the Squirrel. All right, this is what I'm talking about. Yes. This is my favorite section. This is what I'm talking about. I love Earl the Squirrel so much. Brent is a full-size man. Uh, this photo op is huge. Earl is massive. Looks like he's trying to eat Brent. Earl's photo op. Take a photo. It'll last longer. It looks so like beat up and <laughs> tattered like the actual South of Border. Oh, that's so good. Oh, they have a little Easter egg for Epic Universe. It says Epic Universally Nuts. Earl's House of Nuts. I don't even know what happens there. Buy everything, get nutting. Free. This is all kind of a parody of South the Border. Between North Carolina and South Carolina at the border, they have this place called South the Border. It's like this tacky tourist shop. It's it's kind of ratchet, but it has a sweet charm to it. They did a little nod for it, because uh, so Pedro is like the mascot of South the Border. So they put a little sombrero on this giant squirrel here. If you look real closely, you can see a little sombrero up there. Then it's Earl's North of the Border. They have like an RV, and this is where they're selling the nuts. Earl's Bets Nuts. These are actually really good. Let's see what little Easter eggs they put here. I got drenched at Mistletoe Falls. Earl the Squirrel says, trees can't pick up their leaves, but you can pick up your trash. Brought to you by the, the Department of Clean Forest and Rivers. Honk if you like nuts. Henry's House of Cat Stuff. Meow. Great 
prices, possum. Henry was in the Sweet Revenge scares him. He's like the little cat with the hat. So there's a little nod to him. And they had like a little wax mold of him. And then this is also an advertisement for the new Red Coconut Club. It's gonna be the Green and Red Coconut Club. I met Greg the Llama. As you know, Greg, it's always his birthday here. So it says, it's his birthday. Greg the Llama at Earl's North the Border. So I think every tribute store now, we're gonna see an advertisement or something related to Greg's birthday. He's part of the creative team. Follow me to Gator Town. Voted best bathrooms on the interstate. I saw the mysterious thing. Such thing. Wow. It says eat more acorns right right here. This is the company from Back to the Future. As you remember, they send Marty McFly the facts, right? So this is the company that says like you're fired. So it's a nice little nod. And this is a nod to the last HHN tribute store. I got scared by a head on a stick at Hollow Hill Cemetery. So I like that. You remember the stick glow would pop up. And this is a facade from the tribute store from HHN. Gone but not forgotten. And then over here, the Rock of Mystery. Down the road from Orlando. This is going to be, I believe, the radio station that's in the green and red coconut club. So it's a little advertisement for that. Tune into WGRC for the best holiday programming. Advertisement for the dead coconut club. I got a monster hangover at the dead coconut club. I would rock a shirt of that. That's so good. I wish they sold these bumper stickers. Drop me off at Port A Town, largest collection of porta potties in the southern hemisphere. If you've ever been to HHN, in the queue lines, they have all these porta potties lined up because the waits are so long if you have to go. I went to Earl's Tree Farm and all I got was the stick. I saw America's first underwater topiaries. I stopped for the world's largest ball of yarn. The wagon pilot in training. Please be patient. So if you look up there, there's Greg the Llama. That's who they're wishing the happy birthday to. A llama. He's up there. He's even got a little name tag. So this is the outside of the tribute store from last year for Earl, right? So this is the Emporium, the Christmas Museum and Emporium. As you can see in the window, that's the tribute store from last year. I love that little knot. But honestly, I would like a neon sign of Earl the Squirrel like that. I would put that in my office. Please Universal sell like little smaller ones. It looks beautiful in person, but uh, above you got Santa with the reindeer. The photo in the back, this is from the tribute store last year. They had this tree and then on top, Earl was like being like electrocuted. It was like Earl's Emporium right there. I like how janky it looks behind and then it says uh, danger electrical hazard and the squirrel biting the little wire. Now for some reason there's just like a turkey up there. $75 they have an Earl the Squirrel Spirit jersey. It says Merry and Nutty. So the front's got Earl. Almost looks like he's got a little uh, Cheeto dust on his nose. And then right here the design is Earl's tree truck, Christmas tree, and a little squirrel with an acorn. They have an Earl the Squirrel mug for $15. Merry and Nutty, Universal Studios. Alright, for $33 they have this long sleeve shirt. It says greetings from Mistletoe Pines Village, Universal Studios. Now for $12, they have this Earl the Squirrel ornament. I got this one last year. $37, they have the flannel on the sleeve, but it's the same design, Merry and Nutty, Earl the Squirrel. $12, they have light up Christmas lights, and then this is the little Earl the Squirrel plush that they had last year. I got this one to put in our tree. And then for $28, they have this kid's long sleeve black shirt. It says Universal Studios with Earl right there. $35, they have a long sleeve red shirt, Universal Studios Earl. And then on the back, the design that they put on a blanket last year, but it's got all these wonderful nods to different things around Universal. Back to the Future license plate, the egg for Jurassic Park, Woody Woodpecker, the East Dock sign, the Orca Bear from Jaws, E.T. ship in the back, and E.T. and Elliot and the gang flying. Jurassic. And then for $28, they have one of these. Earl right there. This thing is metal. This thing is heavy duty. For $20, they have this Earl ornament. as Earl's Tree Farm, Universal Studios. For $20, they have a candle. It smells like pine and flannel. Adorable little Earl plush that I got earlier. $17. This is a little souvenir stand, but in Inside here is a bunch of little Easter eggs. As you can see, the red truck is part of Earl's tree farm. All right, so if you look down here in this window, they have the black cat facade, little model kit from the tribute store right back there. Then we have this squirrel pulling the snowman around and a little squirrel going up and down, putting a little star on top of the Christmas tree. But uh, what's going on with this creepy elf? in the back. Now they have the tribute store snacks. We're gonna try that another day. Now for $60, they have this flannel hoodie with Mary and Nutty Earl on the back. If you need gift tags, it's three for 15. You can send Earl the Squirrel a little sticker gift tag. For $25, they have this little wooden block. It's like a little sign for the design for this year. Then for $30, they have an Earl the Squirrel little drawstring bag. It almost looks like a little Santa sack. Stockings say Earl. And it looks like there's an Earl the Squirrel collectible figure coming soon. The squirrel is jumping over. All right, we're heading out now. It says Earl Lando Preview Center and Holiday Boutique. So we have another advertisement right here for the Green and Red Coconut Club. Celebrate the holidays in style. Live entertainment, so I guess they will have singers coming back. Festive decor, nostalgic atmosphere, cozy drink. I'm hoping like for some eggnog and like some spiked hot chocolate. Earl the Squirrel approved. Great photo ops and exclusive holiday drink. Located on the upper floor 
of City Walk. Travel the universe because you have to go to multiple parks and City Walk. The holiday tree hunt. I'm gonna come back another day and do the whole tree hunt for you guys. Solve the mysterious decoded puzzle. Now we have Earl's nautical freelancers on the frozen Great Lake. Set sail on an eight hour fishing trip in the freezing cold. Fish to be returned after ride. Here's Earl on a little boat. I guess this would be you. Coming soon to Earl Lando. Earl's got everything coming soon. We have Earl's looping acorn made with 100% recycled acorn pieces. So Earl's making a roller coaster. Over here, this is the little log ride coming soon. You will get wet and it's only 12 degrees outside. Now, if you've ever been to South of the Board, they have an observation tower. It has not operated in a very long time. They've been refurbing it forever, but there's a little nod to that. Petting zoo. So it says Trapper Hat Observation Tower and Petting Zoo. Ninth, world's tallest observation tower. See all the majestic sights from the comfort of a window and bench seat atop 1,337 stairs, scenic views of mistletoe pines flat. Coming soon. That's a nice little nod to south the border. And then we're in a little final little area. So they always have holiday coins that you can get. These are gonna be four for 15 or $5 each. So they have the Grinch, Earl the Squirrel, Universal Studios Florida, or this was the facade last year for the tribute store. So over here we have Earl the Squirrel Fresh Cut Tree Farm. Earl's. What do we have over here? I soar with Earl the squirrel. Instead of like leading edge, bleeding edge, squirrel swing technology. Top of the world gift shop opening soon. Located third floor. Greatest roadside attraction yet to be finished. Coming soon. Elf of the year. If you remember in last year's tribute store, the creative team members had like elf of the year. Then they had all their kids as like little elf. So I think these are probably some of the creative team members kids dressed up in Earl the squirrel swag. And they have some more advertisements right here for everything we already saw. Then they have a book. Tale of the holiday tribute store with Earl the squirrel. As as you know, we're all got electrocuted. Man. They got the coaster here for the Red and Green Coconut Club. I wish they sold these books. These look so good. So you have Earl the Squirrel for Mardi Gras. Earl celebrates Mardi Gras. He's wearing beads and everything with the gator float. Then we have Spooky Tales with Earl. And then over here we have the Holiday Tree Hunt. Now if you remember last year, they had this train pushing the DeLorean around the first tribute store room. This is the same train from that. And it's uh, kind of pushing Earl's little tree farm red truck. This is the world's largest kind of acorn on loan from Earl Estate. Measuring in at over 10 inches high and nine inches wide. Previous world record shattered. New arrival at Orlando. So this is it. <laughs> this is this is the big uh, acorn. Now they even have park maps. They have a little sombrero as a nod to south the border. I think this dinosaur was in Elliot's room for the summer tribute store. Now this was the nod in the HHN tribute store for this one, for it being a department store. So they put the map over. I need to know more. Universal Creative, I met Daryl the squirrel at Daryl's bee farm. Uh, what, is this like Earl the squirrel's crazy cousin? So right here, as we know, during the Halloween season, Earl became a singer. He released a uh, Halloween album. So now he has a Christmas album, a telling of Twas the Night Before Christmas, narrated by Earl the Squirrel. And uh, you can see Santa pulling the giant acorn Right here, it's a stereo. This recording has been formatted for squirrel hearing. So proud of Earl. He's grown so much over the years. And then you exit out. And it says, thanks for stopping by the Holiday Tribute Store. And you have Earl the Squirrel right there. And a little happy little snowflake. These are cute little characters. Now, tribute store review for this year. I really enjoyed the Orlando stuff. That's where all the Easter eggs and the fun stuff was to connect with past tribute stores. And that's what I love. And I love it. That part's a 10 out of 10. The rest of the tribute store, I think is fun. I think they took a risk with the facade, making it like a department store and everything. Because normally it's like a big in your face tribute store sign or something. I thought it was a nice way to kind of fit in the current design that they have at Universal Studios with the department store. So I enjoyed this. Time to get ready for the Macy's Parade. People have been camping out for like three or four hours. I'm gonna show you the best place to stay at. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy
Look at the entrance to the tribute store at nighttime. The Christmas tree is all lit up. There's mannequins in the window. All right now, Earl has been hanging out over here, but he's moved, he's migrated. He's over here now. Our squirrel and savior has moved to a different spot. Now a lot of you guys are confused on who Earl the Squirrel is. Where did he originate? So it's a sad story. He was an actual squirrel. He chewed on the Christmas lights and it kind of took out the Christmas tree. All the lights. He chewed on the lights. And, uh, he ended up dying. The lights got to him. So then, um, why is there a croc right there? Uh, so but then the horticultural team would hide Earl in there. It kind of became an inside joke for them. And then it became an inside joke for all the team members about Earl, right? Passing away, chewing on the tree, and they hit a little squirrel in there. Then it became like an annual pass holder thing where it's like, okay, there's Earl, and they put him in the tree it was kind of a fun little thing that not too many people knew about to like spot in the tree then about three years ago Universal saw an opportunity because it's not an IP something created originally in-house to merchandise him and make him the face of the holidays here and just kind of the face of Universal Studios Florida it's like the mascot that's Earl the Squirrel so that's the story of Earl the Squirrel and that's why he's there in that tree because he passed away but legacy will forever live on on merchandise and plushes and uh, yeah I'm a big Earl the Squirrel fan now they're kind of doing that with little boo kind of creating an icon started as a little annual pass order meme and become something bigger than it is. So that's one of the things I love about Universal is kind of they take these little niche jokes and they uh, listen to the fans and expand upon it. I prefer this design of Earl where it's like the OG Earl. I don't really care for like the skinnier looking Earl. All right, so we're here in Battery Park. This is where like the exclusive food is for Universal Studios. There's not as many offerings as there is like for Halloween Horror Nights where there's booths everywhere. I feel like Universal has potential for that. Just like create all these cool festive Christmas booths and everything. This is where the weekend bar was for uh, HHS. It is hot chocolate bomb time. We got Earl's salted caramel hot chocolate acorn bomb. Salted caramel filled acorn shaped hot chocolate bomb served with hot chocolate. All right, normally the, uh, the hot chocolate bomb normally takes a while to melt, so I, I didn't capture the entire thing on video, but uh, let's see how it is. Oh, it's hot. It's like mediocre hot chocolate, and then you kind of get like the wonderful like hint of the caramel in there with the chocolate. Hot chocolate bomb is the best part of this. The actual hot chocolate, yeah. Go to Starbucks, get a hot chocolate there, and then you drop the bomb in it. I think that's the way to go. I think for the hot chocolate, I think I'll do like a 7.5. I think it's good. I enjoy the hot chocolate bomb with the little marshmallows and everything. But I think the actual hot chocolate is just, yeah. They have press sandwiches here. The one that I got was peanut butter fluff and stuff. That's a name right there, yeah. Creamy peanut butter, raspberry jelly, with marshmallow cream. I gotta admit, it's really small. For like 10 bucks, it's almost like a little bit bigger than an Uncrustable. There's a very sweet and tart jelly in there. It just kinda tastes like a warmed up peanut butter jelly sandwich with a little bit of a crunchy edge to it. So it's fine. I think I get 7.5 on this thing. It was good, but nothing life changed. If you're in the mood for something a little warm, then easy to eat, go with this. They set up this little topiary right over here. It's actually quite nice. So you have Santa's sleigh with a bunch of presents in there, and there's these reindeer topiaries that are leading the way. It's really nice. This is brand new this year. Now in the years in the past, they would have these little icicles. I don't know if they didn't put them up because the hurricane was coming, but they have these wonderful lights. <laughs> that go along the pathway. Now everything isn't turned on yet. Normally all these palm trees have white lights that go up. You can see them on the tree. I just think, cause uh, there was a hurricane and everything, so everything kinda got delayed a day. Probably later this week, everything will be up fully running. Okay, so we're gonna go into the annual pass holder lounge, cause I think they have a new magnet for us. They have this brand new Universal Orlando annual pass holder cup. So it's got Jaws, E.T., an egg cracking for Jurassic Park. For $35, they have this baseball cut tee, Universal annual pass holder, you have Rip Ride Rocket, the Archway Volcano Bay, and for $16, they have a Coca-Cola freestyle little sling pouch. Happy Holidays, Universal Studios. And for $30, they have an annual pass holder t-shirt. You got Earl on the front, and then on the back, it says Universal Orlando, annual pass holder, Universal Studios, that's Earl driving. Earl looks ripped, though. The man's been working out. So it's not a magnet, it's a decal. It says UOAP pass holder. So it's a little annual pass holder decal you can put on your window on your car. We're heading out of Universal Studios now. We're gonna stop by CityWalk to see if there's any news with the red and green Coca-Cola.
Coconut Club, then we're gonna go home and talk about everything. My thoughts about the opening night. Now the Green and Red Coconut Club is supposed to open next week. I'm not seeing anything new, so they have a week to kind of work on things. But I'm really excited to come and visit it and show it off to you guys. Okay guys, we are back at home. Let's talk about Universal Studios. Holidays 2022, a lot has happened. I just kind of like scratched the surface of everything and I was there like the entire day. To cover everything, it takes probably two if not three days to experience everything that Universal Studios has to offer for Christmas and the holidays and everything. So first off, let's talk about the Tribute Store. I love it so much. One of my favorite things to do at any theme park is just like to walk in and discover and unearth all the Easter eggs and connections that the creative team put in there to Universal properties and upcoming projects. And I love that stuff so much. Just feels like a bunch of inside jokes that you have with your friends, right? But it's like, you know, annual pass holders and Universal just like create this like fun atmosphere of Easter eggs. And that's what I love. That's why my favorite part was the Orlando portion. Now I did film a bunch of other stuff, but I would say 25% of my footage got messed up. Audio got messed up. I'm gonna have more stuff and more Easter eggs to show you guys throughout the season in the tribute store. There's just so much. I probably spent like two or three hours just like walking around taking in everything. Tribute store. I thought was wonderful. If you didn't know, the creative team pulls this off in less than two weeks. By the time Hollywood Nights ends on the 31st, it opens on the 12th, they have to demolish everything, install everything, pack everything in. I don't know how they do it, but guys, Thank you for all that you do, because you bring millions of people joy with your little tribute stores. I'm a little disappointed with the merchandise. Really thought there was gonna be more merchandise. They just kinda like reuse that same Earl the Squirrel design from last year. I thought there was gonna be a lot more Earl the Squirrel stuff with like kinda the more cartoony version of him. Maybe it'll come later in the season, but I kinda wanted more different varieties of merchandise. Cause I felt like a lot of it I saw last year. So that was my only like negative of the tribute store. Now let's talk about the Macy's Day Parade. I love the Macy's Day Parade. My favorite place to stand is kinda by the mummy because you get a nice view of the tree and the floats coming towards you and it's the only spot you can kind of get a good view of Santa you know he does his little spiel and then he illuminates the giant Christmas tree so if you're coming I highly suggest standing over by the mummy to get the best view of the Christmas tree but I do want to say it was a straight-up madhouse uh, there were so many people there I was just literally swimming in people yeah I don't know how Universal is gonna fix that but team members were trying their best but uh, it was just kind of a madhouse with the crowds and everything my suggestion for next year for the Macy's Day Parade. Earl the Squirrel, he's the icon of the holidays. The man needs a float, okay? If King Julian has a float, Earl the Squirrel needs a float. Take one of those old superstar parades, retrofit it, and have Earl the Squirrel leading the parade. The man, the myth, the squirrel. He deserves to have a part in that parade. Yeah, we still gotta go to islands, cover all of Seuss Land, Grinch Mist. That's a whole nother video. We still gotta do the Christmas tree decoder hunt. I'm really excited to do that because that's, again, one of my favorite things to do is kind of discover all these little Easter eggs that Universal has hidden throughout the park. So guys, I highly suggest coming for the holidays. Everything is included with your park ticket. So you can ride rides, you can experience the Macy's Day Parade. It's not hidden behind a paywall. So guys, let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite Easter egg that Universal put in the tribute store? And guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Join the family. I don't have friends. I got family. Yeah, so I had to do a voiceover for that with Dominic Toretto because I lost the audio for that. I'm sorry, guys. But if you didn't know, if you ever see me in the park, feel free to say hi. I always try to film a little clip of you guys if you guys want to be in the video, and that's kind of where I always put it in the videos. Hit the subscribe button because I will keep you up to date on all things Holly and Jolly and Earl the Squirrel. All right, guys, I love you all, and I'll see y'all very soon.